Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? This is Trey Money here with the Billionaire Success Team. And I'm coming down with a little cold or sinus problems. Uh, that's what my girl's mom is telling me, some sinus problems. But I got some congestion going on. So you'll hear that, but I'm still going to do this training for you. And we're going to go over how to build a squeeze page by just using an Aweber opt-in form. Right, so there's, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you can build a squeeze page. You can use all types of software and, you know, Squeeze Page Factory, Optimize Press. I mean, the list goes on and on about all of the ones that you could buy and, um, and those type of things. And, you know, it's a bunch of flashy systems, but time and time again, statistics say that the most boring and ugliest and simple squeeze pages are have the highest opt-in rate. And that's what we're going for. We're going for results. So you can pay for a lot of the other ones, but I'm just going to show you how to make a simple one. If you, you know, you just make an Aweber account. An Aweber account is a trial for a dollar for the first month. So, you know, there's no excuses there. You should have a dollar just to try it out. Once you set up an account and you subscribe and your subscription is um, activated, you just go to here to where it says my list because you have to create a list first. And I already have a list here. You just create a list, name it, put in your information. Right, and then if you do that, you want to go here to sign up forms, and that's where we're going to create a sign up form, and which is also going to be our squeeze page. And if you want Aweber to just host the squeeze page for you, they give you a link. You don't even need to host it yourself, but you know, for for folks that do have hosting for yourself, you can make a squeeze page and just enter it into your um, your website. So this is a basic form here that they give you when you first log in, and this form is just like a, it's a squeeze page in itself. Right? And we're gonna choose, um, you know, another form. Let's say, let's say this one is modern one. It has a a header and a footer. So let's use that one. So. You know, real quick, let's just make one. Real quick. Let's just size this out a little bit, stretch it. I'm gonna get rid of this name here, just for the email address, and then we can just put in any type of words you can think of. How team members are making one thousand dollars. You know, you can type whatever you want. This is just something off the top of my head that I'm just thinking about. But you can type whatever you want. Watch this free. Video now. All right, so I'm going to center all of this. You want to change the color. Well, first we can change the font size. Let's take this to like 14. Change the color to a red. And then let's make this one a little bigger. Let's go like to 24. And then if you want, you can change the colors that's in here. Say you just want to change this to red. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, excuse me. So you want to change this to a red. You know, you can do that there. Just click save. Bang, there you go. Header right inside of your form. And say you want to put some space in between this email here. Or you want to add some text. Let's add some text. You know, this is only for those people who are serious about making money online now. Let's put this, you can just drag it, drag and drop. Like, say we want some space in between it. You just take the same text box and you just save it as just blank space, and then you just move it. You know, let's get rid of this affiliate link. It's email privacy. Add some more blank space. Um, but this button here. You can also change the button color. 
change the words to, you know this inside of the button you can change what it says instead of saying submit you want to put whatever you want I'm going to center it and put it in the center um, you know, let's put like a warning here that kind of screams out alright so <clears throat> and this footer you can also put words here so you can put your copyright you can go and find a copyright. You can just Google copyright symbol and it'll just come right up. Then you can put your income disclaimer, links, and your policy, um, terms and conditions. Contact, whatever you want down there. You can just do whatever you want. I'm going to center these things just to make it symmetrical. And when you want to put the link in, you just highlight the actual word and you click on this chain thing. And you just enter the URL that you want people to go to. I like to click on the open in the new window so that they can just go and read and come right back. And you click insert. I'm going to click cancel because I'm not going to do it right now. You click save. And there you go. Just like that. So that's a simple squeeze page right there. It's going to look pretty, you know, pretty nice. Even if you want to go and like change the color, say I want to change the colors of this header right here, you can also do that right here. Where has the background? If I want to make it a, a lighter gray or you know something like that, and then you got to think about you know whether the words will still pop off or whether you need to change the color of the words. But you know you would just save it and psh, squeeze page just like that. Save form. You go to the next steps. And I can show you how to configure it and all that. But this is real simple. Once you go to the next steps and you actually have to publish here, you just take this little snippet. And there's some other code that you'll use to just put into an index HTML file. But we'll go over that in the next video. So. I hope that was pretty simple for you. If you have any other questions and if you need any help with anything, just contact me. Again, this is Trey Money here with the Billionaire Success Team. And you guys can join our team at the link below, moneytimenow.com. It is moving, y'all. You want to jump on this right now. All right? So see you guys later on the next video. See you tomorrow.